torrential rains lash the Dallas-Fort Worth area of Texas, pouring more water into already swollen streams as spring floods bring death and destruction in the millions to a wide area of North America from the Gulf Coast all the way to Canada. Raging rivers overflowed their banks, and the floods were described as the worst in 36 years, dating back to 1930, the first time levees were installed in this part of the country. Whipping winds drove the floodwaters further inland, creating a no-man's land of frightening proportions across the Lone Star State. A marker bears silent witness to the dangerous heights reached at the crest of the floods. A lonely marooned pet looks in vain for his master, while a youngster swims energetically on a road he used to walk. Damage is assessed high in the millions, and the rain-whipped, darkened city looks like a grim giant. One day, the ceaseless downpour dumped three inches of rain on Dallas in two hours, and power failed in various sections of the city, leaving some three-quarters of a million people without light, heat, or communications, a crippled metropolis. In Canada, meanwhile, a combination of melted heavy winter snows, ice jams, and swelling streams sends the Red River over its banks, flooding out some 800 homes in Winnipeg, Manitoba. The waters cover many roads and make travel impossible. There'll be no traffic on this bridge today, and there'll be no preoccupation with speeders either. Winnipeg citizens, educated by a disastrous flood in 1950, made careful preparations for this one, including the use of polyethylene plastic sheeting, in which houses were actually wrapped to make them waterproof. Sandbags were also stockpiled and dispatched to danger points along the river dikes and flooded areas. Again, the citizens made further use of the plastic, draping it over the banks of the dikes and using more sandbags to hold it securely. Meanwhile, a massive floodway to divert the Red River overflow expected next year will be constructed, and ring dikes such as these will also help in the annual spring battle against Mother Nature's tantrums. 